Ernesto Rosario, Principal Architect at uh, Kamathan Rosario Architects, Bangalore. Today, I'll be taking you through one of our projects, Weathered House, which is located in Banishankari. Uh, it's a compact and minimalistic house uh, on a 2,400 square feet plot with a total built-up area of 2,500 square feet. If you want further details of the project, you can uh, download the e-book from www.buildify.com where you can find the plans, uh, detailed drawings, material palette and other details. If you have any further questions, uh, you can write to me in the comment section below. The site is located in uh, Banishankari in a BDA which is a municipal layout. The site is very close to Turahali forest and in fact when we started the project it was almost like we had a view um, to the forest. But we had one interesting thing at the site. So there was a, a tree which was not that big when we started the project and uh, at some point the client was also toying with the idea of cutting the tree because it was spoiling the elevation but then we said you know uh, let's let's keep it as the project went on it almost was like the house was growing around the, the tree rather than the tree growing around the house bangalore basically has a very moderate climate but in the summer it does get hot to some extent but the house is designed in such a way that you know you don't need air conditioning through the year so that is something that we attempted and succeeded the clients who uh, the, the couple were both techies and had two growing boys so the house was built for them and for the visiting grandparents who were from both sides of the family so the client had lived in japan for quite an extended time before moving back to india and uh, he was quite inspired by the work of uh, a japanese master architect uh, tadao endo and his use of exposed concrete so he wanted to bring that into the project and his spatial requirements was a, a four bedroom house. He wanted the house to reflect the minimalistic ideas of uh, Tadao Ando, the Japanese minimalistic ideas to be reflected in the spaces as well. The site is a 40-60 plot. The front of the site essentially faced uh, south, south, southwest. After leaving the mandatory setback, what we did was we basically pushed the whole built up mass a little further inside. By pushing it in, what we did was we put the car park, the car park space over here, which gave it some relief uh, from the west and southwest. And even in the front, we've pushed the building in by a good 10 to 12 feet on this side. So then beyond that what we did was essentially if you look at the building outline we have created a, a central courtyard space and the entire house kind of uh, is built around it. So you enter in here And uh, the staircase is also one quite an important element in the house, which basically connects the ground to the first floor. And uh, so what we have is uh, the living, the dining, and we have a one bedroom at this level, which again, is basically spaced around the central courtyard. So the road is on the front and we have this huge tree which is essentially the, the crowning element of the building. We have a straight flight stair which basically brings us up to the, the first floor and as you land on the first floor you come to this common library kind of space. This is again look onto the, the central courtyard. Once you come on to the front, which is to the south west of the site, you come to the, the bedroom space, which we have our big tree in front here. And this is a 
balcony and this is the master bedroom so basically because this side was west southwest we put in tucked in all the services here we have the the master bathroom and the walk-in wardrobe in this area and here we have a uh, outdoor utility space basically again cutting off the western heat coming to the rear of this site we have the kids bedroom here and a, a third bedroom which now has become the study after covid for work from home to the front we had the tree to our advantage and we had this screen which again basically let in the southwesterly breezes breeze when when there was breeze but also cut out the glare and the building is also kind of pulled out as a concrete tray to the front which basically cuts even the glare further this balcony opens up to the street on one side and this courtyard to the back so in terms of the massing of the building uh, basically the structure was conceptualized as a the ground floor was like a white monolith from the outside and a concrete tray which sits on top of it so basically since north was in that direction this this side of the building faced west and this part was west southwest so what we did was we first when we chopped this part off we've put in the car parks here so that again creates a thermal buffer and to the front of the building again we've pushed the building further back and created a green pocket in front again to reduce the heat gain on the east side basically to get in the morning light we created a a courtyard to the east and this basically became the central focus point of the ground floor now when you come to the up floor basically the concrete tray that i spoke spoke about is essentially this big tray that you see here which is basically completely a concrete c essentially which is sitting on top of this and, and this becomes a shading element for the cars and to the the front of the building uh, to some extent because it's pulled out and we if we, we pulled out this mass to create a a balcony for the the master bedroom these spaces also again looking at the courtyard below and we have this big tree in front here so since the front was again facing uh, west southwest so uh, what we did was we added this a cotton steel screen which basically slotted into the building in front what this did was it allowed the the breeze to filter filter through but it cut the the glare and this also faced the tree on the front of the building so one of the main takeaways for us in this house was i think uh, on a more philosophical level was i think patience also i think another thing that we learned was being more collaborative with the client i mean this client during the course of the project started developing a lot of interest in architecture and you know related fields we were more open to uh, you know for what came from the client and frankly now so uh, manjunath is almost like my consultant now in terms of you know getting in uh, what is new in the market or whatever because he does that as a hobby so if you look at the green quotient of this house um, i think uh, we've tried to be green more in terms of how we've uh, responded to the climate and um, so basically in terms of light and ventilation this house doesn't need any artificial light um, through the day at any 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 part of the house and um, in terms of ventilation as well there is no artificial you may need to switch on a fan but there's no air conditioning required uh, the house is completely solar powered and all the all the rain water we have uh, is completely um, uh, collected and uh, we are recharging the ground water the tree uh, in front you know which also taught us patience 
uh, also um, would probably go with uh, you know what Adando had once said we borrow from nature the space upon which we build